I can show you that my product works hands down. First things first, my name is Kenneth Berg. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. And I'm going to show you the final product of my screen. So this is 100. Well, actually, I haven't got a chance to measure how big the screen is, but it's filling it in. It was easier for me to just paint the entire screen onto the wall. So this right here is using our Supreme 8 ambient light rejection technology right here. Easy for me to paint this on the wall in no time at all. It took uh, a little bit of time to dry, but that's because the screen didn't have a very huge screen. Now, for gaming, I'm using my 720p short throw projector right there. And I'm going to show you the final results of why our technology is the best. Right there, you watch me paint this screen in. Now, this is going to be part two. So, let's go peel the tape off. Everything's dried and done. I can't wait to start gaming on this tonight. Oh man, it is going to be freaking amazing. Going online to order my lead lights next. So let's get this started. Let's start peeling this off my wall. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so I'm going to have to do a new paint job right here. I just peeled off the bottom of my wall, so I'm going to have to come in and match the paint in a pretty good area. So right here, not good right there. Painter's tape. I think the wall was a little weak there, so I'm going to come in and probably come in tomorrow. i got to go to Lowe's anyway tomorrow, and I'll get the paint that matches this particular coating right here and just put a little frog tape here. We paint it back in. That's all. Very easy fix to do. Not hard. I should have did a proper job on priming the wall before applying paint. Not me, it's not my responsibility. But we'll go back in and we'll fix that tomorrow. Just gotta go to Lowe's and get a match on this paint. And I'll come back in and just read through that all over again. Another hobby for me to work on. All right, so let's get the top area. There you go. It's going to be a little more gentle with it this time. I'm just going to have to repaint that section right there. Easy fix. That's all. Boom. I'm surprised I get good at that. So right there at the bottom, that's where the paint came off a little bit on the wall. So I got to go to Home Depot. I just scrape a piece of that off, take it down to Home Depot, and they can match the paint perfectly or Lowe's and just the paint tape at the top right here, I'll show you how to do it tomorrow, and we just paint right over that, it'll blend right back into the screen. But look at my screen, boom, nice size. So now let's power up projector, power up the shirt, the projector first things first, let's get the chair out of here first. Got a lot of clutter going on here, I gotta put everything back to normal in here, so I have some breathing room. So let's get the chair out first. Ugh. So I have a little bit more room to work in here. I hate those helmet in my way. Some Mario toys. I'm gonna crush any of that. Let's get this out of the way. All right, now we got some breathing room. Let's come over here. Let's grab my drill out of here. I'm gonna toss that in the trash. And I got my brush, my roller here. All right, don't want to lose that. that into a plastic bag. That's somewhere. Again. Both side away. All cleaned up. This side here. Let's power up our projector. We've got everything cleaned out really good. I'll put my stuff back later on. What the freak is this? Oh, this is a to my Mega Man. Oh, that fell off. All right, let's power up my projector right now. Show you what we got. And let's put the Xbox on. Put 
bring this back a little farther so you can get the whole screen in there. Oh, the anticipation. I know some of you are probably thinking like, ah, it's going to come out dark and dirty and all that other good stuff. Man, you don't know my tech, man. Put the projector power up. Where's Fred? Where is remote controls? There's no remote controls around here. Uh, mine's wired, so I don't know where in the world is that. There we go. Let's go to. That's what I'm waiting for right now. My freaking logo to pop up. Hey, Fred. Boom. Look at the white levels. Look at the white levels, people. Oh, I got. I probably got a few haters in here right now, in my room right now, that are looking at the screen. Look at this. Let's go over to YouTube real quick. And keep in mind, the lamp on my projector is at 91%. It's an eco mode right now. Look, I'm going to show you. My projector is running eco mode. Projector in eco mode. Let's go to YouTube. Boom. Let's see. Uh... And there's Ooh, let's see. And it's still with lights on and put lights down if you choose to. isn't it and now for my customers and people who support my channel thank you for taking the time keep in mind i do have a few naysayers in here from time to time that will come in here to watch my demonstrations fail yeah i developed this technology look at it just watch me paint this screen in it's a black screen and look at the levels it's pulling up and this is on a 720p projector. I'm not even using my Sony Venue projector. My Sony Venue projector is 4,300 lumens. This projector I have down here is 32. But I get the naysayers that come into my channel. They watch me do the paint on demonstrations and they expect for the screen to come out so dark and so dirty, you can't see it. Oh man, I'm gonna hook up the PS4 to this. This is gonna be freaking insane. Now, my projectors, I have my settings for 1610. I want for widescreen. Look at the white sand. Alright, alright, alright. Now you see why we got a contract. I love this. I love, I love, love, love what I do for a living. Because the same thing you're seeing here is the same thing they did when they were testing my product before I got my contract. The same thing. Same demonstration. They do it live, but you know. They did. Boom! Shut the lock off!
have the haters that, that t- trust me, I have the haters to thank you for this. You know why? Because you're the one who pushed me to do better. When you tell me I can't do something, eh, I say, okay, we'll see. All right, I got all my stuff in the hallway. Right now, I got to put all that in the room. This is the other one, I paint it. Can't find a remote control. She always has a remote control. And paint it. And this room right here using an ultra short throw projector. So now I got two of them painted on the wall, one in my room, one in here. Oh, I forgot that I got the giant one downstairs on the Ah, so this is our little screen right here. We love this screen. This is the screen we have in the bedroom. Instead of putting in a big TV, we decided to just put in a screen right there. And you'll see the image get brighter and brighter. I think what it is is when I painted the screen, and as I said before, when you paint them in, they're dark. They're always dark because paint's wet. As the screen starts to dry, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. So I think what some people saw that all the screen is dark. I said, okay, yeah, we'll see. When we when I show off part two, when that screen is dry, yeah, you'll see what it can do. This is what we have here in our room, right? This is our little our little setup right here. She didn't want anything too big, too small. And this is the screen I painted in here. Boom! Lights on, people. Everybody wants, that's the whole purpose of the ultra short though projector. So you can have a TV light projection screen in your environment. But it doesn't mean anything if you have a 20,000 to one or you have a 3600 lumen projector, which this one is, Optimum GT56, if your screen can't produce contrast, which means it'll fade out. This being a gray screen, if this is a gray screen or a, um, a gray screen or a white screen, it'll wash it out easily. I can sit here in a fully lit environment and I can see my screen with no problem. So those you've been asking me, can I paint this on the wall? Yes, you can. Let's peek around the corner over here. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! This is my, my, some people think I'm a little bit arrogant. It's not being arrogant. It's toward the people who basically constantly, constantly talk about how my product doesn't work. And I love proving them wrong. I love it. So now I'm going to clean up my room, get this all situated, and I'm going to do some Marvel vs. Capcom on this screen, which I can't wait. Bam, bam, bam. I cannot wait to do Marvel vs. Capcom on here. Oh my goodness. Borderlands. I forgot about completely about Borderlands. Playing Borderlands on this giant screen? I think that's what I'm going to do first. I'm playing Borderlands first. All right, got to go. Got to get out of here. Thank you for your time, and God bless. Uh, the screen paint for the... Actually, it's been going on all day. Our screen paint's been selling all day. That uh, giant kit, that one gallon, still going on the website. We have a few left in the shopping cart. First come, first serve, and they're going, they're gone. And that is it. We're closing that shopping cart. It's just a special promotion deal. It's going to be a gallon going for around $100. $89. It comes with a free 6x9 blackout cloth surface for you to paint your giant screen on. Or you can just paint on your wall like I just did here right here. And the reason why I chose to paint on my wall is because, like I said, building a fixed frame screen, which I, I do them all the time, but in this environment, because it's nice and small in here, would have been kind of difficult to do for this size. So it would have been easier for me just to paint on the wall. All right, with that being said, I got to go. God bless, depending on where you're at in the world. And good day.